was kind of skeleton, isn't he? That is a skeleton cowboy. You Native Americans, you, you killed that cowboy, you made him a skeleton. It's terrible. All right, let's get into our first fight here. Well, welcome on, dear partner. This here be Bounty Train episode number one. Go ahead and pull up a story. I got a little bit of a story to tell you. Okay, I'm gonna stomp that voice right there. Uh, we did a Falcon one-shot on Bounty Train a couple of days back. I mentioned my interest in doing a series for the game just because it reminded me a lot of FTL with a bit of a railroad tycoon element to it. And um, for the most part, the majority of you guys said Falcon do it. Let's see what this game's all about. So I'd figure we'd record a couple of episodes here today going forward, and we'll see what you guys think about it going forward as well. Alrighty, so we're not wasting any time over here. We're gonna get right into the meat of this game because in the Falcon one-shot I covered the intro of the uh, game itself. If you're not familiar with that, I would suggest you go watch that video. If not, to give you a quick rundown, your father died, you were trying to inherit his money, but in order to do so, certain things have to happen. But we find out more about that through Jeremiah over here, so let's talk to Jeremiah. Um, as I mentioned, we also covered this in the Falcon one-shot. If you want to read through this, go right on ahead, but I've already covered it before, so I just want to get some more of the gameplay happening here, because early on, I have a little bit of attack that we need to do. It's going to require a small little bit of grind, but it's going to give us some money early on to really help us out with our upgrades going forward here. So, in case you didn't want to read this along, that's essentially just me agreeing to the terms, which is, in order to get my inheritance money, I have to meet with the rest of my family, and all of us together will have the majority of the stock for the train company itself. Because right now, the majority of stock belongs to our father's partner. So in order for us to get what's coming to us, we have to, you know, have the majority of the stock. And that's essentially like the small breakdown of it right there. But again, you could read that if you wanted to. Um, for now, we have to recruit ourselves a first, a, a free person right off the bat. So we have Ephraim. This is actually one of the better guys you could recruit early on for free, so I would always suggest if you're going to start a run, maybe reset until you get Ephraim because he is really, really good. Um, let me Tell me more about yourself, my friend. As you can see, he comes with a ranged... Well, obviously, <laughs> most weapons, most guns are ranged indeed. Yeah, that would make sense. You know, you pew pew from afar, it's a ranged weapon, Falcon. But he's got a particularly well-ranged weapon, I guess, which is an actual musket, a rifle, whatever. So... What sucks about this, he takes one shot and then he has to reload. However, on the upside is that that one shot is really, really accurate and it hurts a ton as well. So it's kind of like a gamble in a sense, but since we're going to be having a revolver ourselves, I figure we might as well compliment ourselves with somebody with a musket. So Ephraim's a really, really good dude to start off with over here. So welcome aboard, especially for free. You can't really deny something for free in this world. You know, somebody comes around and says, hey, you want a million dollars for free? Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> what, am I saying no to you? No, give it over here, it's free. Do you want a kidney? You know what, I will sell you a kidney for a million as well. That's, by the way, an offer in the market for all of you guys. If you need a kidney, pick up a million dollars, hit up hit up your boy Falcon. I mean, I've, you know, probably have really damaged my kidneys over time, but it's still good. It still works for me, so it should work for you. Anyway, over here we have Leonard Horton. Uh, he needs to get a Boston. I need to get to Boston. You know what? That's not a bad thing because I do believe from Portland we go over to Boston first. So what that is right here is essentially you have to make money during all this time that you're trying to get your family together here. So you need, you need money for upgrades, for hiring, for buying weapons, a lot of stuff, right? So in the meantime, you have to kind of moonlight as a passenger train, a cargo train, a... Uh, a freelancer who wants to take advantage of the market, maybe even a bandit. There's a lot of options in this game to actually complete the um, overall story, which is actually is really cool about it. So you know what? I'm going to say probably yes to um, Leonard going to Boston, but before we do that, let me find out what else is over here. We have Dahlia Sweet that's going to New York. Technically, after Boston, we will be going to New York, so we might say yes to her as well. Over here, we have Frank Workman. Now, this is kind of a, a quest that I kind of skipped on the Falcon one-shot, but let's check this out here. What are you looking at? Hello, sir. My name is Walter Reed, and I am looking for my brother. He shares my surname and is railroad engineer. Do you know him? Reed? Sounds familiar. Been spending most of my time in the saloon, though. So my memory is a bit fuzzy. Perhaps a small favor from you will help me remember if you know what I mean. <laughs> what kind of favor are you talking about, Frank? Um, what do you have in mind? Uh, let's see. There's a lovely woman in Boston who happens to adore me. I haven't seen her since here. Since moving here a few weeks back, so have I sent her letters, but she never responds. I'll tell you where your brother is if you take this letter to her, but don't read it. Alrighty, sure. We have now a task of a love letter. 
Now, a lot of these tasks will have deadlines to them. This one is not one of those, so you, we could do this whenever we feel like it, which is kind of important to figure out where our brother is at, mind you. Now, by not doing this mission, you could actually find out where your brother is through a different method as well, but, you know, we're, we're doing it this way instead. So Dahlia's going to New York. Virginia, let's see, she's going over to New York as well. So we have one Boston to New York. We have Sandro over here. Sandro Escobedo. He's looking to be hired for my train. He's going to cost me 490 huh? What do you bring to the table? Revolver, 11, 10, 10, level 2. Eh. Like, it's no doubt that having three people early on is actually really, really good. But um, he doesn't really bring anything too exciting to the table, so I'm going to probably skip on that here for a second. Let's find out if City Hall has any missions towards Boston right now. Um, let's see, three pieces of textile to Utica, one piece of tool to Boston, I guess, or at least one tool pieces to Boston. And you also need me to bring two tools over here for 330 as well. Hmm, okay. We're going to Boston, so you know what, we'll say yes to that one. That gave us one cargo piece, so now our cargo train, which is going to be this one right here, has one piece of um, cargo in it. And we could carry up to five. We also have to take into consideration the tonnage and... Um, how much we actually are carrying in general based on our weight and also just random stuff that we'll be carrying as well. So if this um, exceeds the amount that we can actually carry, our train will not move. So, um, and then the more weights on the train, the slower it moves as well on the road. So you got to keep all that stuff in mind here. Um, all right, so that's all fine and dandy. We have one mission to Boston. To Boston. And over here in Silas Stewart, he's got no mail to be delivered. So we're fine over here. So let's go ahead and say yes to Leonard, who's going to Boston for sure. He will pay us $100, so let's say yes. Not only do you get money, by the way, for doing these missions, but you also get favor with a certain city. We might as well say yes to either Dahlia or Virginia. Both of them cost 90 bucks, so let's say yes to Virginia over here. No luggage with her. So two of two passengers and three of five. We are ready to depart here now. I'm pretty sure we are anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Oh, you know what? I'm actually kind of glad that we said no to Escobar or whatever his name was. I will tell you why right now. Let me go ahead and buy this license. Luckily for us, the first license to get through to Boston is free, so there is that. Over here, this is going to be a Union Army camp. For the most part, the Union Army rarely sells tools and always requires oil and medicine. Very often you can find good revolvers, rifles, and even turrets there. But be careful with smuggling, they check every dark corner. But we do have Albert Gilbert over here who is looking to be higher for $300, which is a lot less than Escobar was. He is level 1, but he's also a union member, so that could be actually pretty interesting for us down the road. And he's got a really interesting revolver as well, so I'm going to say yes to him. We now have three people for us to use in combat, so that's going to give us a really good advantage early on. Let's get on out of here. As I mentioned in the one-shot, I probably wouldn't suggest um, getting into combat early on, but if you have a pretty good setup, it probably is not a bad idea to do so. So here we are in Boston. We have now completed our Leonard Horton, so we have now delivered him here. Uh, we have to deliver one tool piece to Boston, which we're here, but this could only be delivered between work, day, um, work hours. So it's got to be between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. And right now it is 2 a.m., so we have to wait until 9 a.m. to deliver that item. Otherwise, we fail that mission. So I think for the most part, we are done here. We have one more dude going to New York, which is our next um, route. Here we have Simon. Uh, were you sent here from Buffalo? I was not, so we can't do that quest just yet. Paula. Hello, my name is Paula Walters, and she's going to Portland. It's going to be going back to the first city. We're not going back there just yet, so no to that. Mary Douglas. This is the woman we have the love letter for. Now, this is actually a really interesting quest. Let's check this out here. Sarah, please do not stare at me that way. My fiancé is a skilled gunman who has taught plenty of men in this city a lesson for disrespecting me. Um, settle down, miss. I met your fiancé in Portland, and I am here to deliver this letter to you. Portland? He lives here in the city. Wait, the man who wrote this letter wouldn't happen to be Frank, would it? As a matter of fact, it is. That filthy man has no shame. I had him arrested in Boston after I had noticed him following me. Ever since then, he's been asking people on their way here from Portland to deliver these pathetic letters to me. Why would you help him? Frank said he'd offer me information if I delivered the letter to you. You wouldn't happen to know a Robert Reed, would you? He's a railroad engineer. I didn't meet a Robert Reed, but recently there were many engineers here working on a project. One of them was trying to convince me to go with him to New York. I think that's where most of them went. I appreciate the information, ma'am. So now we probably have an idea that Robert could be found in New York, which is kind of where we're going to next. So that's fine. 
And we could also go back to Boston and deliver the news to um, Frank. I'm not sure what happens if you go back to Boston and tell Frank what happened. Does anything happen? Yeah, no, Return of Frank. There is a part of that quest here. I guess we'll do it at some point. Why not? All right, over here we have Elias Davila going to Buffalo. No, nah, not right now, dude. And over here we have Judy. Utica. No, not going to Utica just yet. So now we have to wait until 9 a.m. so the City Hall could open up and we could deliver our items. So there it is, 9 a.m. We skip forward and... One tool piece to Boston. We got five attitude for Portland and five for Boston. Positive attitude, mind you. And we got $80 as well. And we got a level. Perfect. Now, do you have anything to New York? Yes, you have one cotton piece to New York. Okay. Uh, not really a good payday for us, honestly. We might skip that because I have an idea now. So, Walter, let me get you leveled up here first. Power of the Knight, this is going to be for melee damage, if I'm correct. Intellect and Shooter level 2, I always go for the Shooter upgrades because, you know, it means just more damage for our guns over time. I mean, why not? So, I, I go with Shooter all the time with him. So he's leveled up. Ephraim's at 4, Albert's at 1. We are done here for the most part, unless... let's see... Yeah, we're done here. Now, let me go to the market. Here is where we want to start making a little bit of money early on. And it all depends on how much New York is buying jewelry or maybe oil for. So, right now, oil we could buy for 32, and we could buy jewelry for 117. We'll keep that in mind. 32 and 117. I mean, the little menu on the side will tell us anyway. Anything to New York at the moment? Nope. And City Hall. You have one letter to New York. I guess we'll take that one. Sure, why not? Accept this quest. There it is. Now, mind you, let's see. They have... They're looking for three supplies of tools, and they will give us 550. If, by chance, New York has tools for a cheap price, we could actually just bring them back over here and sell them here. So, we'll keep that in mind. Three tool pieces, just in case. Let's get on out of here. We're not upgrading our train just yet, because I want to make sure that we can make some money off of New York first. So let's come over here. We will buy this license for $100 to get to New York. And we do have one person, one passenger to New York right now, so let's come down over here. By the way, uh, traveling is costing us um, coal, which we do have to buy over time as well. Here we are in New York. We delivered whoever we were delivering, so um, that's done with over here. Virginia Nicholson. And we completed that already. And over here, we have to deliver this to City Hall, but again, it's got to be at 9 o'clock, so we have to wait a bit. Um, so now that we're here in New York, let me go over to the market, which is actually kind of important to me. And let's see. Are you guys buying oil? You guys are buying oil for 81? Remember, it's, it sells for 32 back in um, Boston, was not So that's good. What about... Jewelry, assuming you guys are buying jewelry here. Where's the jewelry one? Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Always lose jewelry. Medicines, tools. Here we go. New York is selling or buying jewelry for 189 And there's eight pieces of them over at Boston. So we go back to Boston, we buy that, we bring it over here. We get an investment of about $72 per sale. 72 per sale. And what about the oil? 32 over here, 81 over here is going to be like 50 49 so, obviously, we definitely want to bring the uh, jewelry over from Boston over to New York. So, that's going to be our first easy way to make money. So, keep keep the strategy in mind. If you want to, like, get yourself a bit powered up early, this is actually a really good way to go about it. So, we're fine here. Let's find out if any of these people want to go up to Boston out of curiosity here. Oh, we also have to wait till 9 a.m. 8 a.m.? There it is. Delivery! There you go. Great. So, that is done with. Let's see. Anybody? Cornelius, who are you? Uh, sir, please st step away. I'm much too busy to be speaking with a low-life railroad hustler such as yourself. Wow, what a dick. Robert! Ah, it's our brother! I'm not ready to talk to you just yet. That's to continue our mission. Oh, we got some experience out of it anyway. <laughs> Robert, I'll be back. The thing with Robert is that whenever you agree to the mission to find... You have to go to Washington afterwards. He's gonna be one of the passengers on the car or the train itself, so you can carry other people meanwhile. So does anybody want to go to Boston right now? I want to take advantage of some extra money here. We have Graciano looking to be hired. Level 3 guy. He costs a little bit too much money, that, and we already have three of our people slots completely filled up. We could upgrade our carriage, mind you, have four people, but um, he's not really that great. Especially for the amount of money he costs. Columbus, let's see, you're going to Washington, which is where we're going with after with Robert. So we might pick you up then. You're going to Philadelphia, not anytime soon. And you're going to Philly as well, not anytime soon. And we have Noah back here for Buffalo, not just yet. Okay, so let's go back over to... Let me level up Albert first here. 
so let's see, Albert. He has the Cannoneer level 2, um, which is going to be really helpful once we get some turrets onto our train. We haven't done any of the combat yet, yet, but there is a lot of combat in this game. But I've heard that Gatlings and turrets are a really good way to defend your train down the line. So we might go with that one. There's also Concentration while shooting. Character may hold the bread while shooting. This increases the chance to deal critical damage. And we have Intellect, which is going to be Weapon Critical Chance and Skill Slots plus 1. Let me go with the Cannoneer level 2 with him. Alrighty. So... Now that we've done that, it is time for us to go to Boston and make some money. Now, is there any way we can make money from here to Boston, however? Like, um, for medicine, it costs 66 over here. How much is that selling over at Boston for? Let's see. Medicine, 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 medicine. Boston is buying for 79 so it'll be like a $13 investment. Okay, so we want to buy five pieces of steel. However, this is going to push us over our ton limit, as you can see. So we have to only bring four. If we go with five, it's going to push us over the limit, and then we won't be able to actually travel. So, having bought four, we're ready to kind of go back to Boston here. And we're about to make a lot of money. Keep that in mind. This is going to be potatoes. What we're looking for is the... Uh-oh. Something just spawned on the map right now. What we're looking for is the jewelry. So let's go over to the market here first, and we want to sell all the steel that we brought here. It's going to give us a profit of 140. Not bad, but whatever. What we're looking for is going to be the jewelry, I think. Let's see. In for five pieces, luckily jewelry doesn't weigh too much, so we could buy up to five. And you know what? Since we're here, it's about time for us to get an upgrade to our cargo. So let's come down over here, and let me upgrade one. And you know what? Even two. And if we come back over here, can we afford one more of you? No, we're a bit shy. We're a bit shy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I should have checked that out more closely. Whatever. Let's go back on the road. So suddenly we have now have a ton of upgrades for our train. And as you can see, we basically have the same amount of money we started off with, and we've just upgraded our train over and over for free. That's all we've accomplished, so it's a really, really good thing to start off with early on here. And we could do this more, but for now, let's come over here and talk to Robert and continue our quest. So, is there something I can help you with? Robert, it's me, Walter, your brother. Walter, I can't believe it. Aren't you supposed to be going to the other side of the Atlantic? What are you doing here? I'm here to shed light on our father's debt and clear his name. He wanted to build a railroad without harming the natives, but his partners have other plans that will cost a lot of lives. I'm well aware of the situation, especially how convenient Father's Dead was for his share shareholders. With him gone, they can freely construct a railroad through Indian territory despite the dangers, but what will we do to stop them? If we can get to the majority of the shareholders to reject the decision, there won't be any bloodshed. That is why I'm looking for you as well as our other siblings. Do you know where they are? Our sister Pearl is in the east, while Samuel resides somewhere in the west of here. As for Michael, he's in the south. I have letters with addresses you can use to find them, but they are back in my home in Washington, so... Come aboard, my friend. As you can see now, he is part of our little passenger train over here. So that's the reason why I didn't want to pick anybody up just yet. Or let him come along just yet. So now we have to go to Washington to continue our main story over here. Um, anybody going to Washington? I want to say that we had a person. Here we go. Columbus Bard. Going to Washington for 150. Let's say yes, and let's come over to City Hall. And find out if there's anything over to Washington. Although, although, although. Let's see. New York. We're going to Philly first. So Philly and then Washington. So anything in the Philly or Washington would be ideal. So let's see. You, you go away. City Hall, come over here. Washington, we have two jewelry pieces over there. So we could definitely do that one. And that's about it. Post office, anything from you? Nope. We could buy some guns. We have some money. Show me what you got, lady. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a couple of um, grenades, however, because those could be useful for mobs, so... Uh, let me buy... Yeah, let me buy all four that you have. Why not? Okay. And then I'm going to equip, like, maybe... One... Two... And then... Excuse me? Oh, one per slot, right. And I want to give everybody at least one grenade, just to be safe here. Alright, that's cool. So we bought some grenades. Everything else is fine. Hospital, we need to heal. Let's head on over to Philly. We have room. Oh, we have no more room for other people. So, Philly it is. And we should have to buy... Yeah, we have to buy some coal before we get here. $200 to buy the license of Philly. That is perfectly fine. Travel over here. Buy coal, my friend. Buy all the coal that we need. Now, our train is going a bit faster because we have upgraded the engine as well. It could carry more, so... Alrighty, here we are in Philadelphia. Nobody was coming here, right? No, we're going to Washington. 
for both people. However, didn't we have a deposit for uh, Philly? No, no, it was, I guess, um, Washington after all. Do you need anything to f Washington, my lady? Or, <laughs> you're not a lady, you're, you're a dude, I'm sorry, Horace, you kind of had some feminine features there. No, it's fine, dude, I guess you're a good looking guy. Uh, no, he's cool. They have another Horace over here. I'm going to New York, unfortunately we can't carry any more people. And you're going back, which is not where we're going. Simon, you are looking to be hired. You're a level 5 dude, huh? Jeez. That's surprisingly good. A lot of HP on you. Yeah, you know, could be useful. We can't hire any more people at the moment. Timothy, what about you? You're going to New York? That's going back. We're not going back. Rose? Hey, handsome. It's not every day I see the spirit of adventures in a young man's eye. Most of these days are afraid to die. Are you? I wouldn't be riding this train all over America if I was. Damn right. I could use a man like you for an important task, but I'm not sure if you can be trusted. It all depends on what side you're on. If you catch my meaning. How do you feel about President Davis? Oh. He's a good leader and a valiant man. Him and the South will lose the war. Let's go with the second one. If that is your opinion, and our conversation ends here. <laughs> okay, no. I'm always willing to help the South, sure. That's just what I like to hear. I will have someone load the ammo, the ammo for you. Thank you and Godspeed, handsome. Oh, where, where is this ammo going to, though? Um, description, Rose O'Neill Greenhouse. Confederate spy, she asks you to take supply to Wilmington with ammunition. Oh, no. She's a Confederate spy. Rose, what are you doing to me? No, okay. I'm going to say um, I have other business to attend to. But we'll keep it in mind if it's a you know free upgrade for us down the line, or at least free money. Why not? Cleveland. I'm not going to Cleveland. Daniel. And Nathan. Cleveland as well. Alrighty, we're heading over to Washington next. I don't think there's anything else for us to take to Washington other than what we already have. So let's come on over here. Buy the license to Washington. is going to cost you 300 Oh, As you can see, how much money we're losing already. Which is the reason why I would encourage you to definitely do what I did early on and do a bit of trade so you get some money, get some free upgrades. And here we have our fight with some Native Americans. We could try to escape, which is going to give us an attitude of negative one. We can attack them, ag ag attitude three, negative three. Or we could just pay for it, uh, for them to let us pass. Let's get into our first fight. Why the fuck not? Let's pause and let's find out what this is all about. Hey, look! Is that a skeleton? That's a skeleton cowboy right there, I think. Anyway, what's kind of skeleton, isn't he? It is a skeleton cowboy. You Native Americans, you you killed that cowboy. You made him a skeleton. It's terrible. All right, let's get into our first fight here. So, um, Robert and Columbus will indeed be taking damage, so we got to make sure that they're fine, because if they die, it could be really problematic for us. How many natives are we dealing with? Seven of seven at the moment. Who we? Who we? So we have three here up front. Okay. Robert, you are not a fighter. Let's put you, like, somewhere back over here. Ephraim is a fighter. Ephraim, you're going to be sniping fools left and right, so let's place you right here. Walter, you're another fighter over here. Columbus, you are not a fighter, so let's bring your ass, like, I don't know, somewhere back here. And finally, we have Albert over here. Okay, everybody, move about. Now, natives, or at least any sort of enemy, will either hurt your people or your train. Either one's going to cost you money and time to fix down the line. Uh, at the moment, we're uh, shooting automatically. This guy's almost down over here. Let's see about just finishing this guy off. Ephraim, you're dealing. Deal with this guy back here, Ephraim, if you don't mind. And then Albert, using to get one shot off over here. Down. Ah, uh, Ephraim, come on. You can't miss that shot, Ephraim. I really need you to land that one because you don't shoot so often. We have some more natives coming back over here. So far, we haven't taken too much damage. This guy's over here just free and easy. Taking it easy. Albert, I think it's about time we pay this man a visit over here. So let's bring you aboard. And... Uh, we have... Turret reload speed. We don't have a turret to really take advantage of, I don't think. I'll give it a try, why not? Ephraim, what's your special skill? It's gonna be... Crit chance instant. He's down already, so we'll wait for the other people to show up here. Hey, this Albert just took... Just balls over this Native American. Pretty good. What's our skill? We have the... I forgot what this is called, but it's also going to be like a damage increase over here. So, Ephraim, it's about time for you to bust out the big guns. Bring down this homeboy right here, and then Walter. Bring down this guy. Albert, let's bring you back into the mix of things and shoot at homeboy up here, I'm going to say. 
Oh, another guy down. Just one native left over here, guys. We got this one. Oh, -hoo! so as you can see how important it is to have three people early on. Really, really important for the fights. We got some money, we got some fur, and we got a weapon, and we got some experience for everybody. And we didn't really take too much damage, did we? No, we did pretty good. We did really, really good for our first fight over here. Alrighty, here we are in Washington, and this is where we're going to be wrapping our first episode, guys. We will come back next episode. We delivered somebody just right now. I think it was Columbus. And now we have to talk to Robert, have him find the letters for us. We'll do that next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. As I mentioned, we'll be going as far with this as long as you guys keep your interest in it. So, again, let me know in the comments how you're feeling about it. And by leaving a like as well, I will catch you next time.